We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New York Jets. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. It's an early test here after two losses to start the season and a game they don't really need. Okay, here we go. We get to see whoever the Jets quarterback was is up first. Kickoff is away. Um, return man has no shot. Browns are three and zero. Oh. They beat the Steelers in this game. In Video game land, and we see Zach Wilson. We don't see Joe Flacco. 20, 2022 season, 24 for 51, two two touchdowns, two interceptions. Oh boy! Start with cover two. I guess he's gonna try and find a way to get the home crowd involved early. Wilson gonna come out throwing. They come out throwing. And he gets sacked by Hill. BJ Hill. Seventy fives chasing after ninety two. Those are two big men two big men rumbling down the field after Zach Wilson. Trying to save him. They poor man didn't have a chance. Second and 17. Kill her on Zach Wilson so we could get a Joe Flacco appearance. Brees Hall, gain, gain of one, make it third and 16. Third and long. Very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to two and zero on the young season. And I don't know what the actual percentages are, and I don't know the analytics when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. The coaches always say. Zach Wilson, uh, gain him about four, makes it fourth and fourteen. But I believe him. After last week's loss, you bet. Jets can't recover after the uh, sack. Game talk have these guys ready to go, but you and I both know it goes into preparation and practice and being ready. no blocking whatsoever. We take over at the 35. That man, the ball is phasing into that man's forearm. And here comes Joe Burrow 42 for 52, 526, and two scores and two interceptions. And I want to attack this Jets team quick. T. Higgins. Gain of 11. I want I run two high safeties, so I'm gonna have room underneath. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it to the right side. To Hayden Hurst. Hayden Hurst can't make anybody miss. And it looks like he's going down with an injury. His arm's in a spot that it's not supposed to be in. So in Check up on that. Here's first and ten at the thirty-seven yard line. Mixon Joe Mixon's out in the slot now. Then tight end Drew Sample. We got two wheel routes. And to avoid the sack. Pass, okay. Still have the two high safeties. The Jets are. They run the court. We're, this is where we're going to pull the quarterback draw out. Get him about six. Third and short. Uh. Pectoral strain for Hayden Hurst. That injury is still prevalent in Madden, apparently. Burrow looking to pass. Open 
T. Higgins gets his second catch on the game. First down for the Bengals. Bring Joe Mixon in. Early score will be big here. Hand off to Joe Mixon. Look at that hole. This Jets team is not good. Gain of four. All did close quick. Oh, I like that Taj Boy route. Don't need it though. T. Higgins to the nine. Aiden Hurst is back in the game. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Touchdown, Bengals. And Aiden Hurst first play back in the game after the the peck strain gets the catches the touchdown pass. And we get on the board quick here. Force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. Jets team might be in for a long day here. Evan McPherson's kick is up. On its way, and good. Eight plays, 66-yard drive. 56-yard passing. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Only 10 rushing yards that game, that drive. Might change it up here in the second drive when we do get a chance. Goddamn Jets. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Zach Wilson's coming back out. First drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than... Reese Hall. Exactly. In a five. That too. <laughs> in the looks of it, they might be trying to keep the ball out of... Change some looks up. Reese Hall this time, gain of nothing. Third and five again here. On the play there, and now it'll be third down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle tackled him forward. Eli Apple tackles CJ Uzama forward. Play action. Eli Apple once again burned. Elijah Moore on the catch. Eli Apple is burnt toast. DJ Hill brings him down. A gain of four. Brees Hall is back in the game now. Play action. It's Wilson. On the move to his left. And he will slide to a stop. Slid down. Jets are responding with a good drive here. A little bit of ba balance trying to keep me um, guessing. This time, Brees Hall. Game about two makes it second and eight. But the Bengals had the remarkable run to the Super Bowl last year, but one team that gave them trouble were these New York Jets. You might remember back in week eight, it was the Jets rallying behind backup Mike White, who threw for 405 yards and three touchdowns. A Carter there, gain of one. Victory over the Bengals. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Wilson and Carter in the backfield. And Zach Wilson's pass is nowhere. Near the target. Jets do have to punt in. Dead shank. Off of dead shank off of his foot makes it. That ball doesn't even get to the 20. 
Patriots had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think. Bill Mixon breaks like, a big one. That should be about 14, 15. Maybe they did something with that. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it. It's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. That was an interesting got a little aggressive on that one. As soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens Didn't want to run there. I got a little aggressive. Defenses want to try and keep Joe Mixon, I can't get the edge with Joe Mixon there and lost a four. And made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. That second down play, that's a minus four. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. <laughs> Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Yeah, okay, that was stupid. Both players with a shot at it that time, but neither coming away with it. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Huber's punt is up. And return of nil. And the Jets will take over. And New York set to take the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it. Every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down. How big that is. Carter gains gain a seven on that rush. Uh, oh, yes. Zach Wilson. Quick throw. The JTS Jets 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 are getting irritating here in that chant. Wilson. And, he can't find a and Zach Wilson is taken down. Combination of Sam Hubbard and I believe DJ Reader. Defensively, getting the sack here that comes after being named the AFC Defensive Player of the Week for his performance in last week's game. He's stacking games together, isn't he? I mean, you just mentioned what he did the previous week to be named AFC. Reese Hall back in the game for the Jets. He's who I'm afraid of. And Jesse Bates takes him down after a gain of one. Third and 13 for the Jets here. 30 seconds remaining in the first. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Just a gain of a couple there. And a gain of two. Jets have to punt. End of the quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Braden Mann's punt is up. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. To return is Taylor. Taylor spun down to the 23. Make it a 43 yard punt. Six on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Some good games coming up here in week three. The first weekend of fall officially. And tonight, the Niners and Broncos from Denver. 49er fans are probably saying, wait, I thought we were done with Russell Wilson. No, they'll see him tonight. And then on Monday night, Cowboys and Giants from MetLife Stadium kick it off at 8.15 Eastern. Oh, is it? Oh, roughing the passer. Okay. Well, they were setting up the screen CD, a lot of free runners, and they got there late. I'll take the extra yards. Yeah, somehow it didn't get into their brains that it was a screen, right? Instead of pulling off and chasing the ball downfield, they kept going towards Loss of two for Joe Mixon here. That draws the penalty flag each and every time. Two yards. Chased out left. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds. 
Bobby Higgins can't come up with that. I had no blocking there. Oh my gosh. Oh, single high safety. I challenge for pass interference. Hey, come on. Like, he just stopped me from running that route. Left footed Kevin Huber set to punt it away as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made at the Fair catch made. 17, 17 jets are pinned inside the. Come on, that should be a. That's. Like, how is that not pass interference? And off to Carter. Gain of about three. Second and seven. Now it's Wilson. That throw didn't have a shot. Third and seven. Exhibit A. Zone coverage. Newer's man was in relation to the football at all times and made a nice play. On third down, Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wilson. Garrett Wilson wide open from the 32 now here's first and 10 32 Wilson a throw to the flat for Carter gain of five so five yards here five on the play and it's second down Wilson to throw. Complete on the quick throw more. To Elijah Moore. Trying to give some different looks to Zach Wilson here. And he's playing really good. Here's another first and ten. Throwing again here. Wilson. As I say that interception, Logan Wilson makes the interception here. Kills that drive, and I need to score so we can. I need to score some points so I can start where start putting the Jets away here. I haven't seen single high safety yet, or I haven't seen double high safety that they did early in the game. This holding going backwards. First and twenty. Yep. I'm actually okay with that. Higgins gets to the Jets 43, make it second and six. That was a good play. scrimmage by the receiver which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space all you want there get that space catch the football big run by joe burrow gets down to the jets 24. Exactly what he got done there. another strong gain on the last two plays they've moved it a combined 33 yards 33 yards on two plays we're in field goal range burrow throw he completes it to boy face mask Tax some more on. We've seen some clean games for the most part until uh, this one here. We might give them the um. Joe Burrow gets down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here 
it's second and goal. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every... And, he takes and Joe Mixon is in. Gives us a 13 to zero lead. Mixon's fourth rushing touchdown of the season. it easier for those guys on the sideline they didn't have a fourth down decision to make yeah could you feel the exhale because kicks up ahead is good take a 14 nothing lead over the new york jets we see in zach wilson i believe on their fourth drive here 543 remaining in the second falls up will be returnable for Return man number 24 gets to the 25. In the process of that kick return, it appears we had an injury. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Brees Hall back in the game. Coming up now to start their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transfer. Uh, CJ Uzama gets the first down, gets the catch, gets the first down. At the same time, you're wondering how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find And Garrett Wilson, his second catch. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On first down. Got it open there. That's CJ Uzama. And he'll be brought Wilson takes a hit. Able to get the ball off in time. To throw again is Wilson. This time he's not able to get the ball off. He goes down. Loss of seven. Sam Hubbard. Sixth sack on the season. 76 just got eaten alive in a game a week ago and another one right here oh he's feeling it in a big way is first solo sack wilson he'll dump this off to carter complete what is that tackling wrap him off oh my god we can get off we could have got off the field there these are the types of plays we're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game it hasn't been the greatest of first halves but this is a nice throw here on third down and they keep the drive going on first and 10 it's carter carter bj hill big 92 wraps him up sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense great job there at the point of attack second nine they be a different running back in CJ Uzama taking down in a six, third and three. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Trey Hendrickson. Trey Hendrickson. It's his sack. It gets a sack for him in the game. Just shoved 71 back into Zach Wilson. Wilson had nowhere to go. He is getting. We have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance. They've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. A kick is up. Off of the upright. Nothing is going right for the Jets. Our lead stays. I don't even know if that was off the upright. I think that missed everything. Honestly, I think that may have missed everything. That pff, off the outside of the upright missed. Pff, missed everything there.
And we got 53 yards, give or take. Hayden Hurst makes a move. Gets down to the Jets 29. Well, we don't have to go super quick now. I mean, we're good. Attacking usually the best way to maintain control. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando. The coach, they'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. Well, they finally keyed in on the uh, draw there. But you're stuck with me in this booth, and he's miles away and smiling and happy. Second and eight from the 27. Aiden Hurst goes up and gets that. And he gets it inside the 10 to the it's nine. 9. 18 yards there and it'll be a first and goal. The From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Touchdown. Touchdown. Stanley Morgan Jr. gets his first of the season. And the Bengals have moved out in front by three touchdowns. They go up 21 nothing on the hapless Jets to say the route is on but they have certainly looked near flawless nothing is going right for them they'll have a minute and eight to just try and put something on the scoreboard four plays a minute 15 52 yards it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it? In order to try and mount a comeback. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this Kicks away. up. Should be returnable if he so chooses. He does. And he'll be stopped gets, right around where he would have been. Had he gets to the 24. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Jets offense coming up now. <laughs> what are the Jets going to do here? Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly. Ah, uh, Zach Wilson's thrown to nobody. Because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. There's another one. Third and ten. We might have another chance here. So far in this game, the defense quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And the Jets call a timeout. Are you kidding me? Come on, we just need to make some run, some tackles on the run game. He's gonna loft it deep right sideline. He's got a man complete. And he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20. Oh yeah, duh. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. Boost review, thank you. They're gonna take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So that challenge is successful one. Booth reviews that one. Incomplete pass. Second and ten. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. The Bengal pressure gets him that Oh, time. the Jets called a timeout for me. Now the Jets gonna use the second of their three timeouts. Second of their three timeouts. That was stupid. Seconds to go in the first Third and fourteen. Third and long. It's Wilson. Ball had his hands and dropped by CJ Uzama. And I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way. Jets punt and give me a chance to at least go down and drive for a field goal. Excuse me. Get to the 24. Just three on the return, and they will take over first and ten. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. 
And with a 21-0 lead already, man, no need really to take any unnecessary risks. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. Okay. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance. Okay, well, let's get a first down at least. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. I like what I see here. Knocking that one away. On third down, Burrow. And are you able to connect? Incomplete. Give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. He gets taken down. That's frustrating. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining. 12 seconds left. Let's just not let the Jets. Coming up now to start their next drive. On first down, Wilson. He finds his Garrett Wilson makes a catch. Jets call a timeout with six seconds to go. Timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson. It's a cluster. The ball hits the ground with a one second. Are you kidding me? These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Final play of the half. It's Wilson. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And that one's an interception. Ends the half. Trey Flowers. That's frustrating. We couldn't do anything at the end of um. Oh well, we'll see you in a few after this halftime show. EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon. Thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. We'll start up at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. And it's the Patriots leading that one in the second quarter. Mac Jones with a couple of touchdown passes. From there, we'll head down to Charlotte to check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they lead the visiting Saints in that one at halftime. Christian McCaffrey has a touchdown there. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie. See what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. Nick Chubb, two touchdown runs to lead the way. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, thanks. We get the ball to start the second half, which is why I was really wanting to um get that touchdown at the end of the... <laughs> Chris Evans bobbles it. But <laughs> take the kneel down. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. It'll be a run. We're going to run this one. Here first and 10 at their 25 yard line. They'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. Gain of two for Joe Mixon. There on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Out to chase. chase um defensive end for the jets down with an injury third and four try and convert here now it's burrow flush to his right i juked out bounds and Jets have another injury. Well, after that game, I want to take a shot. 
This isn't really much of a shot take a shot play. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Forced out to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of Alright, well, ran out of time there and I get sacked. Just finally ran out of room. Ran out of room. Right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, well, took a nice step forward. And how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here. Third and four. It's third and fourteen. I mean. Chase complete. Mar Chase if he stays up. What's the flag though? Defense. Defensive pass interference. So we'll decline that. Flag and let the completion stand. Really great job by the receiver fighting through all the contact and still coming down with the football. All that great work and practice being put into the game. Now it's Burrow. That's to Chase. He's got and Jamar Chase touchdown. Jamar Chase, his second touchdown on second, the season. Second on the Bears season. Take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover Jets from it. And you know they always have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Bill Burrow, four for four, 75 yards there. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. Tackled at the 24. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second. Reese Hall as the running back. And off to him. Gain a two. Four possession deficit. You know as that team gathers they're saying to each other you'd never say never right because if you're on an nfl roster that's how you have to think you can always come back and win a ball game and let's face it we saw a certain super bowl a 25 point lead late that wasn't enough to and carter taken down for a loss is near impossible. they're nine and bottom line is it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one we think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job. So the 25. Aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And Sam Hubbard makes another sack. Oh, sack on Zach Wilson. He is having a bad day. He has been sacked six times. This one. Upended. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Man, they, don't, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Taylor now returning it. Taylor makes nobody miss. He gets to the 48. Following a very nice punt. Probably see. Um, this will probably be the last drive we see from Joe Burrow here. For the Bengals and the numbers for the last drive, and I'm gonna be brutally honest. It's surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet, and it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well. No one's dropping it. Go mix and gain a four, and the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no hitter or a perfect game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. Uh, Joe Mixon, no gain. 
first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen That's a first down, Joe Burrow. 16 for 25, three touchdowns, 228. Third down conversion. So far. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he's gonna get this. It's another catch for Jamar Chase. Gets down to the gets a seven yard gain. That's his seventh catch on the game. Mixon game rushes for a first down. He hasn't had a big game. He's been kind of held in check. First and ten. And off. Mixon makes one man miss. Gains about five. Sides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. It connects quickly. To another, Chase. another pass to Jamar Chase. It's complete. The tackle is made at about the five. They'll give it to Mixon. Mixon down to the two. It'll be a pickup of four and it brings up second and goal. See some, some odd JP Ryan here in this scenario. I can go from the two. And he follows in right behind the fullback. Two yards out. Bengals, we take a 34 nothing lead. Extra point pending. Just absolute dejection, but Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. Makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent, and they flowed into this game. McFear Evan McPherson's kick is up. And right now, it is good. Expect them to back off at all. They're playing so well. They just want to keep it going. That time, a nine-play drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Samaj P. Ryan. It is returned. He gets up to the 34. Good return. See Zach Wilson still. Brees Hall still the running back. He gets the handoff up to the 36. In a three. This is a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future. I think you have to find Carter's in now to play for something to grasp on to until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. Another catch for Zach or for um Garrett Wilson. That's a first down. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Out of the gun, they run with Carter. Carter taking down the run blitz worked second and 11 They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11 Carter motioning out Zach Wilson is gonna be alone Throwing is Wilson This one left side caught by Pass caught three yards Closer to midfield across the 45. Not enough. Brees Hall's in now. Four times already, and they're staring at a fifth. Another punt incoming. Possibly. Here's Wilson. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Ball bounced around, and we will see another punt from man. The Jets can't have anything going for them. That's a good point. That need down at the three. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. This is sixth point. Now, kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punt. Um, let's get Joe Burrow out of there. Or Brandon Allen. Ugh. 
because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And he's going to take Mixon, this gain of three. around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on top. That's a loss of one for Joe Mixon. And we're going to see Brandon Allen throw. Not something I really wanted. If he gets the first down, Brandon Allen, one for one. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Mixon with a first down carry. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Mixon doesn't get much. We'll be going into the fourth quarter here. I think we're going to sit a couple more guys. Joe Mixon doesn't have a great game, but he'll sit. In favor of uh, Chris Evans. We want to do this. more offenses a few more off a few more guys out there to take a break this is the NFL and it's on EA Sports Chris Evans his carry gain of two gain of three just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry no not at all back from the three year back out of Michigan and not allowing any lanes to open up Aiden Hurst makes the catch, but we get out to the 30. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fourth punt from Kevin Huber. We'll let the play clock run a little bit, get out of here sooner. Turnman sheds one tackle. Ten yard return. Here come the Jets again. And Zach Wilson throws behind his receivers. That one never had a shot. Second and ten. On second and ten. Wilson. Garrett Wilson, another catch. He gets a first down. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That's not moving super quick. He takes a hit. Second rush. Second inches. Second and inches. Here's Wilson. I went to the wrong man. Eli Apple got burnt. Jets have a chance to score a touchdown. Get in the shutout. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And interception. Adobe Awuzie. Takes it back to the 30. Take over here just shy of the 30. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything.
everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. Allen's throw here, take it in by Morgan. Stay down. Got to the, the Jets 43. 28 yards the game. 28 yard catch pitch and catch there. There's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here Chris Evans will get a ch chance to carry one here. Not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. This little Chris Evans still up gets about 12 yards. Nice little run. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Snapping this one with under six minutes. They're at the six minute mark, I should say. Evans, gain of about six. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Snap this one with under 520. Second down, Evans looking for space. And, he's brought down and Chris Evans down to the 12, brought down to the 12. 12. First and 10. I'll take us under five it's minutes. On this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line. Jets will see the ball again, right on one way or another. They'll run it here with P. Ryan. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five. So that's a second and five. Baltimore ties their game up against New England. Play will take us to under four minutes. I'll be a third and two. This offense on third down today, they're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Evans. He gets the first down. But he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Tackled at the one, Chris Evans could. He's seeing a touchdown here. Down at the one. Again. Maje P. Ryan. How you doing, Ash? Thanks for the um, tier one subscription. We'll see Chris Evans again here. Uh, the Jets suck. Zach Wilson sucks. This game is... Uh, this game is a blowout. Madden itself is a football game. We got back up to see, just to hang out here and chat. Oh, thanks. I'm not going to be um, live much longer now. Let me, uh, once I finish this game, because I do have to be working eight hours. Eight and a half. The Jets are not good. We knew that. <laughs> Game just for me. Yeah, pretty much. How's Florida right now? 
And a big deficit, Charles, but they moved the football on some drives. They just haven't had any points. You want your back. In their minds, they're thinking the game plan has actually been working. We just haven't scored points. Well, isn't that the bottom line part? Uh, the, 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 the Jets goal. game plan has not been working, Madden. EA people, really please tackle him inbounds. Please tackle him inbounds. Thank you. If I lose this shutout, and in this case, that's exactly what he did. Out. Running back, let him they run the ball. It turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Call it no gain that time. Yeah, for the most part, I don't hit the physics in the game feel significantly better than they have in the past. Oh, the Jets are gonna punt. For the a bazillion and twentieth time, that punt is away. I'm just gonna fall down. Or how they had to wear um their dark jerseys, their blue jerseys. Kneel down here with Brandon Allen. Get out of this game. And just to hurt Brandon Allen's rushing average. <laughs> well, the only times I'll probably see him in the, I'll have him playing. That's about as big and clean of a win as you could hope for in the National Football League. No turnovers. While you, meanwhile, you forced turnovers. You didn't allow any points, and you put up a bunch of points. What an effort. Yeah, that sounds like. That's all the stuff that we saw happen today. Those are statistics, numbers, the whole deal. But my question that sounds like Bills fans. There's a reason I don't really like the Bills, even though I have no reason to dislike the Bills. But that was the story from the get-go. One side was awake and ready, and the other just seemed to sleep. So for Cincinnati, hey, Brandon Allen, how can... It's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 and now on the young season. They Brandon Allen had a perfect game. To take on the Miami Dolphins. Um, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And, and they'll be on the road next week as they travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Did they really? Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Uh, let's see. Go here. Considering this was a fitting, uh, I didn't know they did that. Huh, I never, I didn't know that because I haven't really had, because of work, I haven't had the chance to sit down and play or anything. Yesterday was the first chance I've had all, um, that's the sack. I gotta find a different one. I know there's several. Um... This one. No. This, this perfectly sums up Jets' dysfunction right here. Perfect. 
lineman on the ground. I believe I got my first fantasy win this week unofficially until I mean it won't be <coughs> excuse me it won't be official until tomorrow afternoon but yeah I got my first fantasy win this week um that's not where I wanted to go uh where is the NFL fantasy app on my phone there it is Uh, we'll advance a week to the Dolphins which will be a Thursday night game which I don't actually know if I'll be streaming that game on Thursday if I'll be playing that game on Thursday or if I'll end up playing it on um oh hang on one second for anybody on YouTube who is watching this, uh, not live here on Twitch, on my Twitch channel, thank you for watching this. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay classy.